Hey guys, welcome back. This is Val from Dreamlet. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create billboards inside Dash Studio. Billboards are flat items, mostly commonly used in games, so that you can save memory, gain speed, and use a lot of them at the same time. So why would we want to use billboard? Well, first of all, this scene here is my new Starship 3677, uh, which is available in my Dash store. There is a link below this video. And, you know, if you want to clone items, you can just select the top of whatever you want to clone in Dash Studio and just click on New Node Instance, right? That creates a copy. And the copy here is a 100% copy of what you have in your scene, which means everything is copied, the pose or presets and whatnot. And if we raise this up off the ground now, this copy cannot have its own surfaces all right it cannot have its own sets for instance with or settings for instance we have this vertical takeoff engine on the main ship right if i rotate this on the main ship the copy gets also rotated okay so you are rotating on both so to speak so the clone kind of clones everything right and that can be cool, but it's also a drawback if you want some more unique stuff going on, right? Plus, you can only clone so much of these, and eventually you'll run out of memory, and it's gonna get heavy, right, on the system. So here's how to do billboards. All right. So I'm gonna create a billboard of this ship, which is take, uh, which has taken off, so it's in the mid in the mid air, so to speak. So let's raise it off the ground. I'm gonna I'm gonna use the vertical engine kind of disabled. All right. So I'm gonna go here and reset that. I'm gonna retract retract the landing gear. So I'm gonna use landing gear here. Retract and also on the wings. Oh, sorry, on the uh, 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 cabin we got the landing gear front as well. Let me just retract them as well. All right, so I'm gonna bring my ship back a little bit in the scene, and there is a gazillion ways of doing billboards. You can use billboards that you can light, or even uh, that will catch shadows and all that. But I want to just do a quick thing, pretty much what we just did, but it's just gonna be a flat item, right? So I'll raise it off the ground. Cool, cool. All right, and we are ready to render our billboard. So for rendering billboards, we don't want to have the background. We just want to have just plain nothing. All right. So in the environment tab, it's important that you have none here, no background, nothing. Okay. Then in here, I want to remove my map. So in the environment tab, uh, sorry, environment sub tab, we run the settings. I want to draw. Uh, I want to disable draw down. So it's nothing. Also, this ground I have here with reflections and all that, I'm gonna remove that. So pretty much this is what we want to do. And I'm gonna render this now. I'm gonna keep my render size down a little bit. So it goes a little bit faster. And we're gonna go click render. Now that's gonna use this, as you can see, this kind of transparency checkerboard, right? And the thing is, right now we are casting shadows onto the ground. And when rendering billboards, that's not a good idea, right? We want just them to be flat items. We don't want the shadows to be rendered along with that. So I'm gonna go in here and at the bottom, choose draw ground off. This will now not catch any shadows and just render our ship. Now, another thing you can do, I'm not gonna do that right now, but what you can do is kind of zoom in on the ship to get a little bit more well fill in the frame so to speak and make use of your uh, of the entire uh, camera framing i'm not going to do that right now this is just a quick render so when saving like we did here with the transparency you want to save as png all right so in here i'm going to just call it ship one png Next, what we're gonna do here is 
why not do another one, right? Let's do one more. So I'm gonna take the same ship, place it further down the scene, and maybe a little bit more to the left. All right, let's do a little bit more heavy, like maybe 3,000. And let's also change the height. So that's it, right? And render goes rather fast. Cool. So we got that done as well. Awesome. There, like I said, there is a gazillion ways of adding billboards. You can easily add these in Photoshop. But I wanted to, you know, add, show you how you can add them inside the Studio because they will then also react to the ground and you know be reflected off the ground, so to speak, right? So let me just save that. I'm gonna call it ship two PNG. Awesome. Now I'm gonna undo a few times. So we just get back our scene just the way we had it a moment ago. There you go, the ship is back. So I'm gonna now create a primitive, right? A plain primitive, just a flat item and just scale. Pretty much doesn't really matter. But I'm gonna use a similar size as this ship is. It's roughly, it's pretty big. So I'm gonna use 20, all right? And what we wanna do is switch over to texture shader just real quick. So we don't use the ivory render engine as of now. And I'm gonna just add real quickly a distant light so that I can see what I'm doing. And that light, I just wanna tilt it down a little bit so it's showing all this stuff here. So this first plane, what we want to do is raise it off the ground. All right, and rotate it down like that. And billboards need to always face the camera. Maybe you have even, you know, seen this issue with you know, modern games. All games pretty much use billboards. You want them to be direct, facing directly to the, towards the camera, right? So you can here, if, if you don't do that, they will look really, well, they will show their edge, which is flat, and they will also start to kind of distort your item, right? So you always need to face that camera like that. Then I'm going to just uh, scale it. Now, this, the render scale is 26 to 11. It's pretty wide. I'm just going to do a something-ish like, all right? And I'm going to move this back in the scene a little bit. So it does not collide with my ship. All right, cool. Then we're gonna do one more. All right, so I'm gonna create a new plane. I'm gonna copy the first one onto the other one. And then once the copy is done, I can just move it quickly. Here, move it back in the scene and up a little bit. All right, something like that, right? And this again, no, the moment you shift items in your scene, you always need to rotate them towards the camera. So they image straight towards the camera. All right, that's pretty much it. Now we're gonna just jump real quick into Photoshop. And in here, I'm gonna load my ships, all right. And what I wanna do is extract the mask, so to speak, all right. So uh, for this ship here, I'm gonna go up here to layer layer mask from transparency and that will create that black and white image all right i'm going to copy that and just paste it here on top and you want uh, white to be solid or opaque and then uh, black to be transparent so i'm going to just flatten the image and save and when i call it ship one underscore alpha use jpeg all right, and then I'm gonna do the same thing on the second here. So I'm gonna go to layer, layer mask from transparency, copy that in front, flatten the image and save. All right, and that's gonna be ship underscore two alpha. All right, and JPEG, go, go, go. All right, let's turn this off. And pretty much inside that studio, what I'm gonna do is click on the first one here, go to surfaces, 
and here you want to use there's different things you can use you can use the base color and you can also use emission emission will self glow uh, while base color will kind of react to the lighting and all that in this case I'm just going to do a very basic simple thing so I do not want to react to lighting I'm going to just turn everything down there's more advanced you know settings you can have you can play with items receiving shadows and all that so um, here I want to use my image so when I click on ship number one all right and choose color white then I'm going to use luminous which is the intensity of the self glow and now immediately I can go into the video area preview and just see how it looks and we also want to use cutout opacity. If we don't do that, it's going to just be a big block, uh, like, 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 uh, as you can see right now. So I'm going to go here, choose Browse. I'm going to sh select Ship 1 Alpha. Cool. That's our ship right there. And now we can, of course, scale it so it has a little bit more larger size. And the ship is now behind. What's cool about this is that, you know, it has the proper lighting, so to speak. Maybe it's a little bit too bright. Okay, we can just adjust it here. But it has the proper lighting. Um, it, it has, you know, everything looks like it, like if this was a real render. And you can just move this down if you want to. What you can't do with... Uh, billboards there is a limitation there's pretty much limitation whatever you do in 3d right there's always something gonna be limiting you there's always a pro and con there is no perfect method for everything right the the kind of downside of using billboards is that um, they will well because they are flat and because we render them from a specific angle you will always have the ship at this angle all right, so even though we turn around the camera, you will still have see the ship from this angle. And thus the lighting that we kind of baked into this might also not be uh, perfect. So ideally when you b kind of use the sunlight that we used here, you want to have those billboards at the exact same camera position. So next what we're going to do is I'm going to select this one here and then I'm going to copy and put it right here this copies the the no the first plane right now now I have all the settings done I can just easily change to the second ship and use it here all right so now I have two ships now the cool thing about this is I can easily clone these now and create as many as I like and they because this is a flat item it does not take any memory and renders really quickly plus another very cool thing is that you know if I were to see I can still move the camera a little bit and it kind of well I kind of get away with that right uh, another cool thing is if I really get close all right and let's say I I set my camera depth of field here let's say I just click on the camera uh, can't find the camera here. Uh, here it is, camera preset. And let's say I use uh, depth of field on. Um, what happens now is that they get blurry. This is awesome, right? This is awesome. And so they react to camera depth of field. And you can get away with this as, as being real renders, right? And I mean, like I said, you can clone these quite easily. You say, hey, I need more. I need one more ship here. Let's move that one back a little bit. And move slightly to the right. And slightly above. Uh, I'm not sure what happened here. Plane instance. Oh, I forgot to copy the position of it. Sorry about that. I'm a little bit too excited. Oops. Starting to do. Uh, there we go. We need to copy the position. There we go. Now I can move that to the side, and I pretty much get away now with having one more. Uh, I'm not sure what happened with the camera angle here. Uh, cool. 
So as something happened there with the angle of that. I'm not sure exactly what, but as you can see, you can easily clone these, right, and get copies. That one got a little bit weird. There we go. Put a little bit further away, a little bit down. So the same kind of camera angle, right? So, as I said, there were limitations, but you can quickly create as many as you like and populate your scene. Now I'm going to just remove that clone. All right. So guys, this video was a little bit lengthy. I wanted to show you how to create those cool billboards. And by, by the way, I didn't show you that, but they do react to the reflections, right? So if you are here and you zoom out, you will see them reflect. See, it does reflect off the ground. Let me remove remove the main ship so you can see those reflections down here just zoom out I'm just moving down a little bit so we can really see it and now you can see that it's being reflected in the ground so those are pretty amazing right pretty amazing stuff all right so guys, if you want to check this ship out, like I said, it's in my dad's store, released today. And it's on a sale, and it comes with, like I said, retractable landing gear, both here in the front and in the rear, as you can see here. And also the side engines were tailable for vertical assistance, you know, vertical takeoff assistance. And this is a great model with a lot of details, the cockpit and all that. So, looks really cool. And so guys, check out the link below if you want to uh, see this ship in my store. And also, if you would love to have your own photo studio, there is we're still giving away that for free. Uh, your own photo studio complete with studio props, lights, a filter, and 27-minute video tutorial. It's linked below this video as well. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Have fun with your renders. And I'll see you soon again. Bye-bye.